Hi guys, it's Daisy here, and I wanted to share a really simple novice DIY uh, about $5 it would cost you to do this um, using a recycled frame. Uh, you could pick one up. This is one I already had, and it had the right size um, opening, so I decided just to go ahead and reuse this one, but um, some people make their own. They pick up the frames at Dollar Tree and glue them together. You can also get them at Hobby Lobby. Um, that's where I got this one. I bought it quite a few years ago. But they do have their frames half off a lot. So um, you could. I think I paid maybe $10 or $15 for this. Um, I had some pictures of my niece when she was about, oh, I don't know. Six or seven years ago, maybe more than that, eight or nine years ago, um, some of some portraits that her mom had made. And so um, those are getting kind of dated. So I decided just to go ahead and reuse this frame. And what inspired this DIY was these beautiful fall Thanksgiving uh, theme cards that I found at Dollar Tree. I don't always look at the cards at Dollar Tree, but these uh, caught my eye. And... They all, they're a nice quality. These are called Heartline by Hallmark. They're two for a dollar. They do have larger ones that are a dollar a piece. But these are a close to five by seven. So they are two for a dollar. And I will just go ahead and flip through these and show you what I bought. I did buy multiples of some because I could use them in different ways. Some of these, you know, I may send to friends or family. And I have a couple of other um, crafty uses for these. So here's the first one with a horn of plenty. A cornucopia, I guess is the word they use now. <laughs> and uh, it has some rose gold foiling on it. I like the the graphics of these cards, the quality of the paper, and also the sentiments in most of them are um, something I really like. Now this one I did buy multiples of because I have a couple different ways I'm going to use this one. It has a beautiful script and I believe that is also rose gold. This one is actually a day spring card but it was with the Heartline cards so and it was also two for a dollar. And then this one is a Veterans Day card which I'm doing this um, with a November theme so I wanted to include something for Veterans Day because I am very grateful to the men and women who have served our country and even sacrificed their life uh, sometimes they sacrifice part of their life while they serve and uh, sadly some sacrifice their whole life but I do feel very grateful to live in the United States and I wanted to um, give a little remembrance and thanksgiving to all our veterans in this display and then this card giving thanks colorful it has some rose gold foiling on it I believe that's rose gold foiling and then this one is just a friend, friend type um, card. Now, when I first saw these. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. I thought, you know, I may send some of them or just use them in my scrapbooking. I love this card. It's got the little squirrel with his nuts and he says, it's time to count the blessings that our faithful father sends. Just love it. And then there's a couple more of those scripted cards. Sorry about the glare. This one has a Bible verse that says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. And this one is also a day spring card. And some of the other things you could do with these is you could... Um, you could definitely just send them to friends or family or people uh, that don't have a lot of friends and family and could enjoy a little extra attention or encouragement. Um, 
you could use them in your scrapbooking. Um, you could use them as they are, or you could cut them down, trim them a little bit to make them fit whatever size you need them to be. This one I like with the little critters in there again. It has the rose gold foil. This one, little foxes. This one just has some skeleton leaves and the rose gold on the traditional turkey with a little rose gold around the edges and on the script. I like this one. I like the colors. And then it has the rose gold foil in too. And they come with these nice envelopes. Most of the envelopes for the uh, the Thanksgiving fall cards are this parchment color. And then this one was for, I don't remember what that one was for. The um, patriotic ones did come with a blue envelope. And I did also, um, they have um, birthday cards in this line as well. And I did pick up one birthday card, but I already put it where I put my cards for future birthdays. So to do this craft, what you will need is a collage frame which, like I said, I already had this frame, so it didn't cost me anything at this point. Um, you need a couple of photographs, um, and my frames are five by seven, so I had two photographs made at Walmart, and that cost me, like, less than three dollars. And then your cards, which I'm going to be using um, four cards, and so they're two for... A dollar so that's two dollars so total cost for this DIY is about five dollars if you had to buy your frame that would probably put it up in the 15 to 20 dollar range but lucky for me I already had this frame so you don't really need any tools the only thing um, you, I might suggest is these little clips that hold the photos in place it can be a little sharp so um, you could wear gloves if you wanted to um, you might need to use something to lift the glass up with. I used my tweezers and that worked great. Um, I did use some Windex and paper towels to clean the glass because it hadn't been dusted for a while. So I will go ahead and get started. Just one other thing I wanted to mention is one other great thing about these collage frames is that you can turn them different ways. You can use this in a hor horizontal position, which is how I was using it when I had my niece's photos in there, or you could turn it uh, and use it vertically, which is how I'm going to use it today. And I would have to switch around my hanging wire, but you know, you can pick up the wire and the hooks for this at uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar, so you can't beat that. Um, it does have the hangers here, which I don't, I don't like to use. These are too hard for me to level, so I'm going to go ahead and get my photos in and my cards in and then we will flip it around and have a look. I'm just gonna remember this is the top. I hope I can remember how I had these <laughs> placed. One of the things that was a little challenging um, was finding a card that um, some of the horizontal cards that they did they had a few um, they had this one which says giving thanks and then they had another one I like and it just said happy Thanksgiving but I didn't want to do two that kind of said the same thing so I just decided to go ahead and use a couple of photos and then I'm going to put the Veterans Day card here and these are a, a little bit smaller than five by seven you can see the photos are a true five by seven these cards are a little bit smaller now I did one of the other ideas I had was to use these in your planner as an accent or for journaling, um, something like that. And these are the exact size of the Happy Planner mini pages. Um, you know, you could also, I, I looked at my A5 and they will fit in there too. You just have to use, you know, the appropriate punch. It's just not going to take up the whole page. Um, so, you know, the only thing you need to check is to make sure that, you know, it's going to line up correctly with the holes. With um, a personal size planner, um, you could probably trim the cards a little bit and use them. Um, I would say for a B6, a Happy Planner Mini, um, the uh, Classic Happy Planner, the Big Happy Planner, um, A5, 
you won't have to do anything to them if you don't want to um, with like an A6, which is about four by six, I believe, um, or personal size or smaller. You probably would have to trim the cards and some of them that would work, some of them it wouldn't, but that's just something to take into consideration when you're, and I just realized that I put these in the wrong way. They are a little tight to get these and these are actually um, like a chipboard. So that's well, pretty, this is pretty good quality frame. And uh, most of the most of the frames I've bought at Hobby Lobby, I've been pretty satisfied with. I just love fall. I have so many wonderful memories of Thanksgiving at my grandma's house with my cousins. Um, my grandma had a great big yard. There were trees, leaves. Um, and now those days are sadly gone because most of my cousins have moved far away and I don't get to see them very often. Most of the time when I do get to see them, it's a sad occasion, but that's better than not seeing them at all. But I just, Thanksgiving just has a special, special place in my heart because of that. And also just because of, you know, my dad and my aunts and uncles too, We'd always go to my grandma's house for Thanksgiving dinner. Always. Oh, that one is not wanting to go down for some reason. Don't know why. Always one. Always one. Gotta put up a little struggle. Let's see if I can slide it in that way. Well. I'm just going to set that there for now, and then I will work with it, because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that. So, oh, well, I guess I better do that on all of them. I guess most of them I could go ahead and just put the clips in, because I'm pretty satisfied with the arrangement of these. I'm going to clip those all down. I'll just clip them enough to hold them in there. Okay. So now... That's the one I was having trouble with. You can have a look at how it turned out. And I'm sorry that one decided not to cooperate. I couldn't get it fixed in there. But anyway, like I said, for a super easy DIY seasonal um, $5 investment. 15 or 20 at the most. Um, you know, I am thinking that I probably will switch the cards and the photos out for um, December and then maybe even winter. I mean, you could do any holiday, Valentine's Day, Easter, Passover, um, summertime. It, I, I just thought it was so simple and just a great way to add a little seasonal decor and um, decorate your house a little bit. So you could also, the other thing I thought of was you could, um, you could add, you could make your own um, text on here. You could just use a piece of cardstock and use some stickers or rub-ons or something and put whatever text you wanted to on there. I mean, you should, you could also just um, do some embellishments. You could, if you, if you didn't want to reuse the frame again, you could put the embellishments on the outside, like put some, you know, die cuts of leaves or even silk flowers and die cuts you could put on there. So just a couple more ideas. So um, I hope you enjoy this and <laughs> have a great day and a great Thanksgiving, everybody.